Okay, I'm currently on my flight to um, Barcelona, and I left, I just left Malaga, so we've got another flight, and then, and then I'll be in Manchester, but it's honestly going to be a crazy next two days, because after, um, right when I get to Manchester, I basically have to change at the airport, and then I'm going to a sports testing lab um, to do some testing um, before I go to a Blackburn tomorrow, and so I'll be getting on a train tomorrow to go up there, and then I'll be working with a coach who used to coach at Blackburn. And we're gonna do some individual sessions together, and then he's gonna, when he gives me the green light, I'm gonna go into training with the U21s, I believe. But I'm excited. Saying goodbye was really sad, so really sad, but it's okay. I wanna miss them a lot. Spain was like being in Spain was 10 times better than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, not really, I mean, I thought it was going to be good, but like, Mary and Acacia just made it ten times better. And it was really hard to say goodbye, so. But I will see you guys when I land. Okay, so it's been a little crazy um, last hour because I got into Barcelona and uh, had to find my gate, get some food. I got a little bocadilla and a yogurt, just like $10. Airport food just like hurts my soul to buy. It really does because I know it's bad and yet they upcharge it so much. Whatever. Um, but basically, I had to cancel my Airbnb because I thought I was going to stay in Manchester, but my agent and I were I've been texting back and forth like the last hour to figure out because he has a meeting in Liverpool he doesn't live in Manchester so he has a meeting in Liverpool and basically I'm going to get off the airplane go to the lab do my testing and stuff for like an hour and a half and then we're going to take the train to Liverpool I'm going to stay there and then go to Blackburn the next day so it's a little crazy figuring all that out but I'll get to see two big cities now so that's pretty cool and get my hopefully I'll get my testing done. The flight seems like it might be delayed, which would be a problem. But we will see what happens. Um, so it's been a little stressful. Traveling's always so fun, but let's just hope there's no more surprises. Unfortunately, I don't get a refund on my Airbnb, so that kind of sucks. But it's fine. But yeah, I'll be in Blackburn for a while, so. I was just texting the sweet lady whose Airbnb I will be staying at, so it'll be good. Feeling high when I'm low
to me I'm feeling high when I'm low, 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 low I'm feeling high when I'm low I need to know when you're close to me Close to me to like update talking wise but basically right after the airport I went straight to the train station with my agent and we went to this sports lab with this guy named Nick Clegg who um trained Ronaldo at Man United and has his like own sports facility it was crazy but it's like in this warehouse and there's no sign because he doesn't want people to know it's there it's very like invitation only it was it was really cool. I did a lot of sports testing, but it was really fun. I mean, I was obviously tired because I've been traveling all day, but I enjoyed it a lot. He's very like, you know, traditional in the sense of like he's gonna demand a lot and be brutally honest. But he was honestly pretty nice. Um, like I thought it was he was gonna be like really mean, but he was no, he was really nice. Now I'm in Liverpool. Tomorrow I'm gonna get on a train to Blackburn where I will be training for the next week or so. Um, not sure how long I'll be there, but Liverpool is so pretty. We're literally just walking around the city, like trying to find this hotel and it's gorgeous. Like I thought it was gonna be sad coming here alone. And I knew it was gonna be hard, but I think I'll be fine. Like it's so pretty. Oh, I feel like I'm traveling again and getting to do what I love. So I honestly couldn't ask for more, but still more ahead. So see you guys either in the next video or tomorrow so i don't know how long we'll make this vlog but it's been a long day i'm gonna get some sleep got dressed and I'm packed now so I'm getting ready to go meet my agent and we're gonna go around Liverpool for a bit before my train to Blackburn at like 1 30 ish so I'm honestly so excited to see Liverpool like it's so pretty show the view out the window I don't know if that was a good description but I'll have another video of it, but it was so pretty, um, just at night, so 
obviously it's cold and rainy, but it's fine. I really don't care. I'm excited. And I honestly like cold weather sometimes. Like, I'm just gonna miss being tan. But it's fine. I know this is gonna fade, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go to Blackburn and then I'll start training tomorrow with um, a coach and like, an individual session for a few days and then next week at the start he'll probably bring me into Blackburn and introduce me and that kind of thing so we will see but I'm excited so I'm gonna go get some coffee because I need coffee in me coffee addiction going strong like four hours have just been very stressful i got after we walked around liverpool a bit i got the train to blackburn and it was fine it went completely fine i was able to get all my suitcases and stuff on and off the train at least i thought until it was the last train and i was like so focused on making sure i could get off by myself with all the luggage that i had my big backpack on because it was one stop so i just kept it on and put the other one next to me in the seat but then I was facing the aisle, and so I just got up and completely forgot about the backpack behind me and didn't remember until I got all the way to this Airbnb, So, which was like a 15-minute Uber away. So paced around the house trying to figure out what the hell I should do, and then got an Uber back to the train station, asked the conductor guy, electrician, if they knew where it was, he called them. Had to go two stops down the train, so like 20 minutes to get my bag. Thank God they had it. Had my computer and like all of my chargers in it. My phone was about to die as well. So got that though. Had to come back. I had no food, hadn't eaten since like the morning. So wanted to cook something and now, I couldn't figure out how to use the stove induction hob. Like, I don't even know what this is, but this Airbnb is a little fancy and it's too fancy. I don't know how to use it, so now I can't cook. So now I'm just cooking in the oven because I can't figure out how to use this thing. And it's funny, but it's also not because I'm also just like, I'm hungry and I just wanted to cook. So today's been high key stressful. I feel like I've been adulting way too hard today. Um, mental breakdown a little bit, but it wasn't even over the bag. It was when the stove wasn't working. I was like, okay, that's my last straw. It's fine. Um, yeah, I need to eat because I have a training session tomorrow with this coach and I need to do well. So <sighs> Once I finally eat, I'll feel better and I'm gonna relax and get ready for tomorrow. But like how, oh, when I tell you, when I forgot that bag, I was just like, no, like, no. Like that is one of the worst things you can do is forget something on a train. They're so hard to get back. I thought I was done. I was in the house, I was like, where's that one bag? Started pacing around the house, could not find it. 
Oh, it's, it's fine. I also miss everybody in Spain. Shout out Acacia and May, I miss you. But I'm cooking some salmon, some sweet potato, and some zucchini in there. This is solo traveling at its finest. Oh, I'm just so mad I forgot my backpack. Like, how did that... Like, I know it happens, but like... Then you're just like, how did it happen to me? <laughs> it's fine. I'll do an Airbnb tour later, but I just cannot right now. Because I honestly... Have